Hey everyone, it's Thrash here, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on my one wide observerless hidden staircase. And I don't really do a lot of tutorials, so this is going to be a pretty good one. So, yeah, I'm trying not to sound very sick today, so sorry if I do. I actually just got my second COVID shot yesterday. It's a little bit painful, but yeah. So, what are we going to need for this? is... oh well, actually I should probably show you the door first. So that is the closing, and this is the opening. So yeah, now I can talk about what we're gonna need. Okay, so what you'll be needing for this build is six pistons, eight sticky pistons, nine green blocks, ten red blocks, five blue bull, four redstone dust, one half slot by your choice, Nine redstone torches, eight redstone repeaters, and two comparators, 20, 28 sandstone or any floor block of your choice, three stairs, two junk items, two hoppers, and floor light blue wool. This is pretty much the color coding wool that I actually used in the store. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is what is going to be your inputs right here. And we're automatically going to have that lever flipped down. So what you want to do is you want to place a torch here. And then you want to grab your hoppers that you have. And you're going to place your two right there. And then grab your two junk items and put them in this hopper right here. Easy as that. And then the next thing that you want to do is put comparators going off of this side on both of them. Just like this. And then grab some red wool. Put some like that, and then a torch there. Then go down one just like this. Redstone dust there. A star peter there. And then a green block or whatever color coding blocks that you have, if you even want to color code it. Just right there. Then off of this, you want a floor block right here. Just like that. And then some blue wool right here. And then some more red just going down like this into the here. And then another red wool just like this going into a well going to a repeater, going into a green block, and on top of that green block you're going to want a torch just like that. This is what you should actually have so far. Just get a good view of it. Okay, so now on this bar, you're going to want a blue wool right here, a repeater just like that, another blue wool just here, and then a smooth stone or whatever slot that you want right there, a redstone dust, and then another repeater just like this, going into a block with a piston right there. Or wait, no, not a piston, a stair. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the piston that's going to swap over here. And you know what? I think that we'll just jump right to the sides now. So you want a green wool right there, or whatever you want, even what color. Another torch here, another torch there. Same thing on this side, just another torch there. Another wool. A piston there, another piston there, same thing on this side, and you want some more floor blocks right here. And then simply right here, you just want a sticky piston going upwards. That's automatically gonna be enabled, so I wouldn't really work on I wouldn't really worry about it right now. And then another piston here. With the stair. Off of this, you're going to want a two sticker beater here, another two sticker beater here, just like that, and then a two tick here. Easy as that. Now you can now see that this piston automatically pushed up. So yeah, we are actually almost done with this. So now what you actually want to do is, surprisingly this part is really simple. So you just want a piston here. Just like that. And then 
a, another block there. And also, I might have been a little bit inaccurate on the material, so you might have extra or too short of some. I just haven't done a lot of tutorials. And then another person there. So yeah, that is pretty much the door. The only thing that you want now is the final circuit, which is putting in these and say us there. And yeah, I think that that's actually it. So if you flip it, you should get a close, and then whenever you flick it again, you should get a opening. And then and now you can just fill in all the rest of your floor blocks, just like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.